Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to another video. So today I'm in an old underground ammunition factory. I've been here before but I was on a YouTube break so I did never record it. I don't know if they're sealed but it'll still be quite a cool explore because it's very cool inside. If not we'll walk around, get some photos of the outside and just explore. This is a very cool place like I said World War II underground ammunition factory it was easy accessible back in the day um, to obviously get it in and out um, I don't really know I haven't really got a lot to say so without further ado let's get into this video so the one bomb shelter fortunately enough hasn't been sealed and as you can see I'm inside and I'm quite surprised that my camera is picking a lot of it up to be honest and if I remember rightly there is a lovely feature going towards the back of this place that if it's this one or the next one hopefully we'll get in the video oh yeah that don't do nothing so i'll wait until jordan gets his light on and then i'll just stick with him so we can show you the inside of this place right so torch is on you may get some shadows look at the pig Yeah, so this would have actually been the ammunition factory and I believe they would have obviously had it underground so safe from attacks. But as you can see, it is massive, it is basically mostly the same, you know, it's just all empty. But a feature of this is the old lifts. The fact they got the old lift there is cool, obviously. The old they, rail as well. Like, yeah. Go, oh yeah, we're underwater, yeah. Oh, look, there's a mannequin leg in there as well. And the weight's there from the lift as well. There's some industrial stuff going on here. Yeah, yeah that was surprising. I thought there's a leg in that water. I thought it was going to be over uh, Pretty sharp this. So. Yeah, steps through there. Yeah, it's quite a bit of a new community. The steps bad. to the upstairs is rather cool, guys. I'm just going to... Get in front of Jordan to show you. Good job, I got boots on. As you can see, the steps I'm on about, which is quite cool. Yeah, it's the surprise I was telling you about. Can you remember what I'm on about? Through you. Ready? Watch this, guys. Now this. I remember climbing through here on Hell on Earth, so if you watch Hell on Earth video, I remember climbing right the way through there, and it's basically just a dead end more or less, I'm not going to climb there today. Yeah, look at that. Sorry if it is a bit green, you guys, I have got it on automatic. So it's on ISO 200 and... 200, 500, 200... Oh, 25,600, God. That's the ISO is on. But as you can imagine, because we're underground, it's just pitch black in you, as you can tell. It's soggy as hell. You can imagine all these were just obviously have been conveyor belts, I'm assuming, in each of these rooms. Kind of gives me great low tunnel vibes. It's just random bits of feet, you don't even look like that. It's very Drake Low Tunnel So I have been here three times, but this is the first time me recording it myself. So we're just going up the stairs now. Obviously as you can see there would have been some sort of equipment attached to these. I'm useless, this is why I stopped the band of videos, because I was like, oh look at that light switch, that's very cool isn't it? And I'm just like, no it's not. I remember doing, um, I remember doing um, light photography up there. It is cool. 
Later. Sorry, can you play a light on it for mine and yours viewers? Look at that. Shame. Colonel Sanders, isn't it? It looks a bit like Billy Connolly, is it? I don't know. Oh, it might be, actually. <laughs> he looks a bit like Colonel Sanders, doesn't he? There's the same sort of storage up there, like you said, and there's a cool piece of graffiti down there. Looks like Marilyn Manson. That's what I love, just the book. It is this doodle in the To doodle in the dark, or you've got a question, your life choices, really. Oh, it's Pac Man, look. It's Pac Man, look. So, this is what we just come out of, basically. Um, you can see the upstairs, would have been the upstairs. I haven't got a zoom lens on, but there's little windows where the gaps are going through. And you can see them as well. Quite an interesting explore, to be honest. And there's still a tunnel and a little room this side to explore. And we just bumped into some Manchestinians. That's the politest way of calling them, I suppose. So we're just in the tunnel, obviously, the lorries that have come out to, onto the road, to deliver the ammo, pretty much. It's crazy how it all still just stays intact and they haven't tried to fill it over or, you know. It's just mad how they keep it like this for so long. This is the final room and there's an helicopter flying over. Yeah, it seems to be like a little, Another little tunnel. Maybe this was the entrance in. This is wild. For progesterone. I read, and this was the train. Maybe. Because look how the, the oh, floor yeah. is. It's almost like you're on, it would be concrete sleepers, maybe? I don't know. But this is further than what I thought it was going to be, to be honest. I literally thought it was a little room. I can't even explain to you back home as well. The way, the way this is, it's bonkers. Yeah, that's interesting. Right, so I'm going to end the video here, summarise it up. Been here three times, finally got to actually record a video myself here. Interesting place, nice vibe. If you are new to the video, please subscribe for more stuff like this. Unique travels, van life, abandoned stuff, every now and again. Jordan's with me again, his link will be down below. If you could smash the like button, leave a comment down below. And I will see you all soon. Peace.